So we are at Dry's office um, looking at a sea turtle that they've saved uh, near Ponte de Oro. Apparently somebody was on a boat and they could see the turtle above the water surface and it didn't want to dive when they came close. So they suspected something was wrong and they collected the sea turtle and they put it in their boat and they brought it for dry on them. And they've been keeping the sea turtle here, um, just inspecting and, and, and under observation. Apparently it's got a problem with its uh, lungs and respiratory system. So I know it just got back now from an x-ray. So we'll just follow up now what has the progress been with the turtle. It's been here for a little bit over a week now. And just to see if any progress was made in sorting out the issue that it's had with its lungs. How was it Did it come back clean? Uh, it's a little, a little bit better. Is it? Uh, but uh, we think that's the pneumonia part and on the x-ray is still, still there. Ah. And uh, she's, she's still improving. Is it? So yeah, you're going to have to keep her a bit longer then? Yeah, yeah a bit longer uh, maybe. But uh, we think she's respond well. Is it? Okay. Even the activity the behavior is improving. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good. I've noticed you you're putting in more water than it was last time. Now we want to fill. Oh, it's to the top. Yeah. To the top, and uh, put the tassel in here yeah. to start to see if it's still working. Yeah. Yeah. Diving or not. The other thing that we are trying to do is. Uh, to stimulate the, the, the intestines yes. to release the, yeah. the, the poops. Yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, so far the, the appetite is not good yet. How she poop is, is not good. It's not good at the moment. But yeah. it, so we need to feel to stimulate to give yeah. and uh, so she can defecate. Yeah. Defecate, yeah. So what do you think the outlook would be? How long more will she be staying with you? Oof. It's hard to, it's hard to know because the metabolism of these kind of animals is actually quite slow. Slow, yeah. So her recovery period can be very long. So yeah. it's it's very hard to pinpoint when. It's not a it's not a mammal and it's quite new yeah. for everyone. And it really depends on the individual how how they respond to treatment and how well they're being. Uh, taken care of. Yeah. But she's strong and she's swimming. She's been very active recently, which is good. It's always a good sign. Good. Yeah. This is a green turtle. So according to the IUCN, this is an endangered species and their numbers are decreasing. And well, when we were discussing what to feed her, we discovered that her their diet varies according to their age. So, okay. yeah. Interesting. So uh, they can't eat fish, they can't eat squid, prawns and all of that. But as they mature they go for seagrass and uh, mostly like they, they become more vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, but jellyfish is also part yeah. of their diet too, so it's, it's quite a variety. Um, so we, we we suspect this um, the turtle is between thirty five and forty years. So like it's, it's in the young. phase she's still young. <laughs> and, but she's still in a phase where, but she's already in the phase where she's becoming more vegetarian. Yeah, right. So that's what we've been trying to, to feed her. How long do they live? Uh, more than 100 years. <laughs> so after we are happy she's diving again, she's going to be released in the wild again. Because that's the, that's the main goal. We are still deciding on the release site. But once we have it all scheduled, we should know because you're you're a big part of what we do. So. I think it, I think it will be nice to see from from the start to what we've seen now to yeah. seeing the end where she gets in the water back into the natural environment. That is, that is super. We should do that. That's a great success. Yeah. Thanks again. <laughs> <laughs> Check in on Peace Pox TV this Monday to see how the story ends.